Hello everybody, this is Q with MixHerbs.com and I want to take this minute, not too long video about, um, I guess about 10 minute video and talk about um, what you should do to practice self-love practicing self-love what you should do some tips some ways that you can um, love thyself because a lot of times we get busy we're doing things we stressed out and we have a lot of issues going on and we really don't show ourselves the love that we should so practicing self-love is a very key thing that you should do uh, each and every day at some point you should do all the time and I want to say that think about this think about what makes you unique think about what makes you unique as an individual this is a good way to practice self-love everybody's unique on the planet we have plenty of people on the planet and it's not one person that is exactly the same so your uniqueness is a key I mean you can be unique in various ways you can be unique in the way that you talk the way that you walk what you eat what you do your interests everything about you is unique so that is the key to learning thyself and to love thyself you learn you love thyself by concentrating on your uniqueness what what makes you happy and you got to go through a period too that you got to forgive yourself forgiving yourself is another key that you should look into forgive yourself of any past things that you did look at your life and you say hey you know I, I was at a point in my life that I might have done this but I'm at another time in my life and I wouldn't do that same thing again you know I've grown since then so you have to put yourself in a place to forgive yourself of your past actions that is a strong key to practice self-love and you just have to relax another key is relaxing take it easy you know sometimes you know you might be in a busy city might be in New York LA Atlanta wherever where everything is hustle and bustle you have to do things 24 7 you have kids you have a lot of things on your mind in your plate but you have to set up some time throughout the day to relax just take it easy you know um, run the bath water sit back light some candles just relax you know take in the moment and that is a good good way great way actually uh, practicing self-love um, another key is to be truthful to yourself loving yourself requires you to be truthful about your feelings so if you're feeling sad at the moment I mean don't feel bad about being sad because we all go through those moments you learn from those moments you, you get deep and see what really is the issue that's causing you to be sad and you can move on from that if you're upset happy whatever the type of feeling embrace those feelings you know that is a part of loving yourself too is to be truthful with how you feel that is very key and another thing you can do take care of your health a lot of people nowadays through you know the way life is everything is quick fast and in a hurry you know you got the microwave you got fast food places on every corner you got so many you know advice on what diet to eat but it's up to you to consume quality foods or healthy foods because your health is your wealth you really need your health in order to maintain in this physical world so health is very key to practice self-love so if you're not actually trying to take care of yourself on a physical level as far as what you consume as foods then that is not self-love that is like 
you know you're sabotaging yourself so you have to be aware of what you consume during the day during the year during the month every day of your life as far as your health so consuming quality foods good foods that's nourishing is very key to practicing self-love and another thing too I would add is to do things you love to do besides you know work you know you might go in to work each day but and you're taking care of the family but you want to do things that you love to do at least a lot of the time throughout the day I mean you you got to space out some time to do what you love so you can and and say you know and that can go into relaxing you might love to relax you can take that time out that and then you can um, kill two birds with one stone as they say you can relax and you can do things that you want to do say you like to do crossword puzzles you can do that you like to play golf you like to get out in nature whatever you love to do if you're a writer you love to write write you love to paint paint just getting out doing the things that you love to do would greatly improve your health and it will be a good practice in practicing self-love and closing I want to talk about one key thing too to all of this is to have fun with whatever you're doing and that that is very key say that you may be going to work every day you don't particularly like certain things about your job or certain people in your life you can actually do things within that time frame to have fun you can find little key things within the things that you don't like in order to make it more fun so have fun in the things that you're doing is very key also and as an example of that say that you may be stuck in traffic you know you like going to work every day the traffic is just tough you know you're like man this traffic is really getting me down but you know you kind of take your mind off of it by putting on a certain song that you like and you having fun and you're thinking about oh you know you, you kind of forget about the traffic that is going on you kind of taking your mind away from you thinking about whoa it's taking me this long I'm stressed out I can't get it but I'm listening to my favorite song and that is setting a different type of mood within this traffic and you're like hey you know the traffic ain't as bad because I want to hear my song or my CD or or if I have or if you have like an inspirational CD that you pop in during it during that time so you're actually having fun learning while you're stuck in traffic so these are little things just little things you can do in order to have fun throughout the day just incorporating it in and so um, and I was gonna also in close and I want to point out that dealing with chakras the heart chakra is the one that deals with love so self-love deals with the heart chakra and that deals with the stones like pink stones like pink quartz so if you get in the mood of thinking of pink you would think of love and that will put you in a loving situation and you can uh, buy certain stones like uh, like the uh, pink quartz and you can place on the heart and you can actually um, improve your heart and it improves the love around you and for yourself so practicing self-love will spread from you to everyone around you they will see the love in no time so practice love today self-love and you will see in no time how things around you starts to change just by you practicing self-love this is q with mixerbs.com thank you for watching thank you for listening peace